A lot of people ask me, well, Andrew, why do you have a machete next to your bed? And my answer is simple. Why wouldn't I have a machete next to my bed? Why don't you have a machete next to your bed? Like, what if someone gets in the house, gets fresh? So yeah, someone knocks on my door in the middle of the night. I have to go answer the door. Just instantly pick up my machete. And people are, yeah, but that's weird. It's really not weird. I think ahead, motherfucker. I have a machete next to my bed. In fact, there's, a, there's at least one, depending on the room, between one and three machetes hidden in every single room in my house, even bathrooms. Any room I'm in in my house, I can, I can produce a weapon. And if you can't do the same thing, you need to think long and hard about why you're such a little pussy. You don't like sparkling water. You don't like water. Yeah, but the bubbles. The bubbles? You scared of bubbles, you little bitch? I like the color. You like the color? Yeah. Yeah, I had uh, mixed reviews on the color. Some people said they like it, some people said they don't like it, and I said, well, what color is your baguette? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck off then. <laughs> Call the police back and go, it's been a fucking hour, where are you guys? My car's been fucking stolen, my car's been stolen. We're sending someone, we're sending someone. Yeah, well, it's very busy. So what do you mean it's fucking busy? It's 3 a.m. on a Sunday. Only in London are people getting murdered at 3 a.m. on Sunday. Only in London is there enough crime on a Sunday at 4 a.m. that the police are overworked. Women can't fight. Vape is dangerous. Can you believe that, James? Vape is dangerous. Can you believe that chemicals you can buy for a dollar that you can't even name? 40 or 50 chemicals that you've never heard of, you can't name, you don't know where they come from, all combined to try and taste like fucking watermelon that you set on fire electronically and inhale deep into your lungs the most unnatural chemicals you can possibly think of, produced cheaply in China, is dangerous for you? Can you believe that? Like, if, if a waiter comes over and goes, what water for the table? A sparkling, please. I obviously answer because I'm the fucking boss. And then some little fucking bitch, oh, um, uh, can I have a still? The fuck is drink the water on the table? You're a fucking man. You're gonna start chain, making the waiter run back and forth and change water orders because you can't handle bubbles? Pussy ass dudes. Bottles of water are for drinking. If you're thirsty, you're dehydrated. I have this thing where if I ever find myself thirsty and dehydrated, what I do is I drink the whole bottle at once. And the reason I do this is to rehydrate myself because the reason I'm thirsty is because I'm dehydrated. I don't understand full grown men who are get thirsty, get their little bottle of water, their Evian, like some kind of fucking status symbol. Like, oh look, I've got Evian, mm. Have a sip and then walk around with it for another 45 minutes, another sip. Walk around, another little sip. I thought you were thirsty, mother. I thought you were dehydrated. Hydrate yourself. Boom, 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 bang, done. Hydrated, fucking objective complete. It's like two in the morning on a fucking like Sunday night. I don't know why there's traffic. Some road works. London is the most shit city. 2 a.m. on a Sunday, you're sitting in traffic. Slap, slap, grab, choke, shut up, bitch, set. Now I parked in a disabled bay. There's like a disabled area, but it's two in the morning on a Sunday. There's no traffic wardens. Plus I'm a G, I do whatever the fuck I want. Like, what good can you make for 19 cents? You can't even grow broccoli for 19 cents. Even growing shit from the ground, which is effectively free. The, the dirt is free, the rain is free. If I tell you you got 19 cents to produce me some food, you struggle to get a fucking tomato. These motherfuckers have got fucking liquid that tastes like tomatoes in a fancy ass package printed all nice, shipped from the other side of the world, from China to fucking the West. For 19 cents retail, for 19 cents cost price, so they can retail it to me for 69 cents. Jake Paul, it's clear to me you are desperate for a reality check. You know what? If I made my money impressing four year olds on YouTube and managed to somehow become a multimillionaire from it, I'd probably live in a dream world too. If I see a man, if you ever meet a man who's afraid of sparkling water, know this he's certainly afraid of combat. He's certainly afraid of getting punched in the mouth and he's afraid of a fucking carbonated bubble. But let me explain something to you about combat sports. There are a whole bunch of men out here who will never be as famous as you, will never make the money you've made, who would kick the living fuck out of you. This is the hardest sport in the world and people dedicate their lives to this and most of them never get a payday. It never pays off for the majority of fighters who all of which who would fuck you up. We all know that, women can't do anything. As Soon as I needed police help and two women turned up, I knew the game was fucking you. I knew they were useless, of course they are. They're women. But finally a man has called me, a, a, a real person. I'm one of the lucky ones, I made a little bit of money. I don't have 50 million to bet with you, but I do have three million to bet with you. So this is your offer. 
Three million dollars. You put three, I put three. Winner takes all. I'm five years out the ring. I'm a kickboxer. You're two and oh in boxing. I'm O and O in boxing. I've never even fought boxing. I'm a retired old man. Five years I've been sitting around smoking cigars and fucking bitches, which are better looking than the fucking girl you're advertising anyway. I will pick you up with one hand by your titty. Body slam your ass. And when I'm standing on top of you and you're like, and I'm grabbing you by your neck. And you've learned, I, I learned in self-defense, when he grabs me by my neck, what I do is I get my fingers in. Doo -doo. Yeah, but you know what they didn't teach you in self-defense? Here's a little move. When I grab you by your neck and you start annoying me trying to resist, and I just... Pull. I will fight you any day of the fucking week. Don't worry about Conor McGregor fucking you up. Don't worry about Floyd Mayweather fucking you up. You only want to lose to them so you can say, well, I lost to Conor McGregor. Why don't you lose to an old man who's retired? I mean, I smoke cigars, but I know what the fuck I'm doing. Give me a big fat cigar. I'm risking cancer to look like a mafia boss. Fine. I live in the real fucking world, Jake. There's a whole bunch of fighters out here who live in the real fucking world. Men who are dangerous and dedicated their lives to this sport and don't have a fucking fraction of the money you have because you've managed to become a fucking clown. The biggest clown on the fucking internet. Little pussy ass dude. So if you're sitting there at a table and your friend won't drink sparkling water, he's not your friend. Because when shit hits the fan and you get jumped and you're getting stabbed by 10 randoms, he ain't jumping in front of knives to save your ass like a good friend should if he's scared of fucking bubbles in his water. Anyone who drinks still water is excommunicated permanently. If you want to fight and you want to send a contract, send one to me. I will take a few weeks break from living my retired life to kick the living fuck out of a fucking goofy, fucking entitled dickhead like you. You know my name, Andrew Tate. Fucking Google it if you want to know more. Any day, any time, let's fucking go. I was like, are you telling me people stole my car and the police won't chase them? London is the most failed society. So I was like, what do you mean? She goes, well, we're not chase trained anyway. I said, what does that mean? She goes, oh, well, our car is not prepared to chase and we're not chase trained. I said, why did they send two fucking police officers who aren't chase trained in a car that can't drive fast to a car theft? I said, what kind of bullshit is this? She goes, we're just here to take a statement. Okay, statement, my car was stolen. Done, statement. She goes, no, no, we need to take a proper statement. And if we take a proper statement, maybe we can get the helicopter out. I was like, okay, fine. So I'm sitting there, I'm fucking frustrated now. So I'm sitting there going, all right, statement, let's go. Let's get this over quick. Let's get the helicopter out, let's find the fucking car. She goes, okay, um, name, Andrew, Tate. Date of birth. I don't have time for this shit. My car's been fucking stolen. What do you mean name, date of birth, where you live, what happened? I went in the casino and then I came out, my car wasn't there. My fucking car was stolen, you fucking bimbo. I ain't got time for this shit. But I don't understand. You are thirsty and you want to hydrate your body. You can complete that task in three seconds. Next time you're thirsty and you buy a bottle of water, drink the water and throw the bottle away. Why are you walking around with the bottle? You need your hands free. What if you have to grab a girl's ass or punch a dude in the face? What if you're not combat ready? Walk around with your fucking do 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 do. It's gay. It's pointless. If I had a 16 year old son, he's like, I'll go to vape. Get the fuck out of here, vape. Do some push ups. You ain't got time to vape. You gotta do push ups. And for your safety, I strongly suggest you do the same. Get all your friends around. Call every friend you have right now. All of them. Invite them over for a party. When they all turn up, pour out sparkling water. Pour it all out. Pour it out. See, everyone, let's have a glass of water together. Water can't hurt anybody. We're all probably dehydrated anyway. What's the worst water can do? Everyone, let's have a nice glass of water and everyone's gonna drink it. And when you see that one dude, oh, oh, oh there's bubbles. Never speak to him again.